Fish transportation of downstream migrating fish is an important function of Puget Sound energy stewardship responsibility. Migrating juvenile fish follow stream flow or surface currents, such as those found at lake outlets on their way to the sea. In a power reservoir, currents are submerged and lead to the turbines. The floating surface collector, or FSC, simulates surface currents to attract fish to a safe passage route. Fish migrating through Baker Lake enter the forebay and encounter the guide net, which leads them to a net transition structure and then to the FSC. More and more water is removed as the fish pass screen panels until they're contained within a small volume and are traveling at a velocity too fast for them to escape. Fish passing the capture point pass through a pit tag detector. Pit tags are small microchips injected into the abdominal cavity of some juvenile fish used for testing. The tag emits a distinct electronic code that scientists use to track fish movement. The detector can actuate a channel gate to send tagged fish to a selected raceway. Fish without tags continue with the now decelerating channel flow and are deflected into one of the other four holding raceways. Through a combination of gate settings, the system allows the captured fish to be distributed in a wide variety of ways, depending on handling, population, size, or study needs. Collected fish are held in raceways. Raceways are screen ponds supplied with plenty of fresh water to provide a low-stress environment while awaiting transport or sampling in the adjacent evaluation station. When operators are ready to move captured fish, a series of fish-friendly activities take place. First, an isolation gate at the downstream end of the raceway is lifted. Next, a unique sweeper gate at the rounded head end of the raceway slowly swings to square off at the end of the desired raceway, and the bridge crowder is moved to the upstream position. Then a crowder gate on the bridge crowder is dropped flush to the sweeper gate, and the bridge crowder slowly moves to the downstream end of the raceway, guiding fish into a hopper. Fish move ahead of the crowder and swim into the hopper. The hopper is a container for transfer of water and fish to another location. Once the fish are in the hopper, the isolation gate is replaced and the hopper is lifted using the monorail crane. Brush seals against the sidewalls prevent fish from escaping the hopper as it's lifted. Once lifted, the hopper is moved to the evaluation station. Scientists and fishery harvest managers need to know the overall health of the populations they manage. One way this is accomplished is by conducting a census of the fish as they leave the river on their way to the sea. Sockeye and coho salmon are the predominant runs in the Baker River, and they migrate at slightly different times during the season. However, the facilities work well for other migrating species as well. Migration data, such as number and species of fish, size, study information and timing are used by biologists and resource agencies to manage the run and identify potential system improvements. The evaluation station is where these data are collected. Fish are lifted by hopper and moved by tram rail and released into a holding tank. Horizontal and foot crowders then meter the fish through a dewatering channel and into a pre-anesthetization raceway to reduce stress. Small groups of fish are netted and placed in a higher concentrated anesthesia to induce them to sleep. Fish may be evaluated for species, length, weight, time of day they were captured, and any marks. As juveniles are sorted, special study fish are sent through tubes to holding tanks, while most are sent directly to the transport tanks, where they wake up and resume normal swimming behavior. Once recovered, the fish are returned to a transport tank, which, when full, is moved to the docking station for transport to the dam. The transport tank is a self-contained holding and transport vessel with both oxygen diffusers and aerators to address safety to fish in case of system malfunction. The hopper passes down the tram rail to the docking station where the transfer barge is waiting. This device ferries fish between the FSC and loading facilities. The transfer float and docking station concept 
is designed to permit the surface collector technology to be used offshore at other locations. The ferry can move back and forth between two points and virtually any distance. After the transfer barge is pulled by cable to the docking station at the dam, the transport tank is lifted by jib crane and placed on a flatbed truck or trailer at the top of the dam. The fish are then transported from Baker Lake around Lake Shannon and the Lower Baker Dam to the Lower Baker River at the confluence with the Skagit River. In order for fish to find their way back to the Baker River as adults, they must acquire olfactory cues or smell memory of the river on the way out. So transporting them farther downstream might influence their ability to find their way home. The fish have undergone some unnatural conditions in the attraction, collection and transport process and may have been stressed. Research has shown that survival is increased in such fish when they have a chance to de-stress for a day or two before resuming their downstream migration. Therefore, stress relief ponds located at concrete will hold fish for two days before the fish are released to continue their migration to sea. Puget Sound Energy and our resource agency partners have carefully crafted all of the features of the transport system to minimize stress and improve the conditions for downstream migrants and leads the way to advances in fish transport technology.